Well, uh, Leo was the figure I knew best. He was a colleague at Berkeley for many years, and I, I became a close friend oh. of his. Um, oh, wow. And uh, I, I still, I mean, it's funny, this morning I got off uh, email with his uh, widow, Susanna, who remains a close friend. We're going to have lunch in two weeks. So uh, I, I have a special, uh, I would say, fondness for Leo. I met first in 1968, and then when I came to Berkeley in 71, he was uh, a mentor and a friend for many, many years until his death in 1993. Uh, his role in the school is very interesting. He's one of the earliest members, came in the middle 20s, uh, was a sociologist, basically, of literature, uh, high literature and low literature, popular culture, as well as, uh, you know, writers like Goethe and uh, Newt Hampson and, uh, you know, other, other great uh, figures, Shakespeare and so forth. Uh, he played several roles. He was one of the uh, central administrative figures. He was the editor of the Zeitschrift at Sozialforschung. Uh, and did a great deal of work in the uh, men's review columns that they published for the 10 or so years of the journal's existence. So he was one of the central organizers of that. Intellectually, in addition to the work he did uh, on sociology of literature, and he published several books, literature in the image of man, literature, popular culture, uh, uh, and several other uh, you know, essay collections. He also, with uh, Norbert Gudeman, was one of the contributors to the so-called Studies and Prejudice, uh, and his volume was on techniques uh, of uh, the uh, uh, techniques, uh, prophets of deceit, basically, techniques of demagoguery. And this was a book which did empirical work, qualitative analysis of the types of techniques used by uh, anti Semitic and other demagogues in America in the 1930s and 40s. And recently the book has been republished, it's a German translation, which Susanna Lowenthal, his widow, uh, born into being, uh, which uh, is very timely because these techniques are still the ones that are used by right-wing authoritarians today. So Leo's work uh, has survived, I would say, the sociology literature, um, a little bit less so. Uh, Adorno was a flashier literary critic than uh, Leo was. But uh, the work on the demagogues, uh, the work on techniques of the prophets of deceit has had incredible uh, resonance uh, today. Uh, he was also, um, you know, a very powerful individual who at Berkeley and elsewhere was a kind of embodiment of the spirit of critical theory uh, without being a, a kind of guru of the new left the way Marcuse was, but nonetheless uh, much admired as a kind of, I would say, uh, wise and uh, prudent um, utopian, if I can use that kind of oxymoronic language. Uh, he maintained his strong belief in some of those uh, utopian hedonistic impulses that I mentioned earlier, and yet was very shrewd, pragmatic, very much a kind of uh, respected elder at Berkeley when I arrived. He was on, for example, the uh, famous um, committee uh, that looked at the student rebellion in 1964 and helped write uh, the report that uh, came out uh, in the wake of that. So uh, I can go on and on about Leo. He was uh, you know, one of the most remarkable figures in my own life. And uh, uh, people who knew him had a great deal of admiration and affection uh, for him. 